Even if he hasn't released music recently, Earl Sweatshirt is still one of music's most interesting and talented artists. He started grappling with fame halfway through his teenage years, but rather than burning out and releasing too much music, Earl has always been thoughtful when it comes to his own output. And it's getting to be that time again. Rumors are beginning to swirl that Earl's next release is coming up. So here's everything that we know so far. Let's start with his most recent album. Back in March 2015, Earl dropped I Don't Like Shit, I Don't Go Outside. He wasn't happy about how his label handled the rollout. It was supposed to be a surprise, but fans found the album on iTunes when it was made available for pre-order. Earl was pissed, but the music was excellent. At a Christmas show in 2015, Earl played five new songs in Santa Ana. He cut a few of the tracks short, and some of them felt more like sketches than fully realized songs. But nine months after releasing his last album, it was clear that Earl was already hard at work on new material. Success is options. Stress get awful. If that nigga over seven, then I bet he watches. In January 2016, Earl quietly uploaded three songs to his SoundCloud page in the middle of the night. Along with two instrumentals came Wind in My Sails, a soulful alchemist produced song that finds Earl dropping Popeye metaphors and rapping about staying away from new trends. None of these are expected to end up on the album, but they do give a glimpse of the direction he was heading in during the early stages of this upcoming project. In September 2016, he alluded to his evolving approach to music in the verse on Danny Brown's Really Doe, rapping, I was a liar as a kid, so now I'm honest as fuck. Later in the song, he delivered a line, I wake up early on him, getting out the house is a must, hinting at a changed mindset following the release of I Don't Like Shit, I Don't Go Outside. While performing at the One Love Music Festival later that month, Earl played three new songs. One of his fans was on hand to film some of the tracks, catching Earl with dark lyrics like, I don't like people, still ducking one time because I like grieving. Earl made it official in late February of this year. As always, he kept it straightforward. We still have no idea what guest features will end up on the album, but a mid-April tweet from Mick Jenkins suggests that he may be involved. This comes three years after Earl publicly commented Jenkins in a tweet of his own. Later that month, Earl was in Detroit to co-host a radio set with knowledge for Red Bull Music Academy Radio. The set included some unreleased Earl, which later leaked online. Earl was quick to denounce the leak. That brings us to today. Earl still hasn't shared an official release date for his third studio album, and it's becoming clear that he doesn't want to rush his project, which I understand. But as we've seen, he's been steadily working on new music for the last couple of years, and it feels like everything's building to a new project coming soon. Earl's been careful not to reveal too much about the direction of the album, but we can't wait to hear what's next from one of the most talented lyricists in rap, whenever that day finally arrives. <laughs>